Hey, Trevor Matthews here. Hope you're having a fantastic evening. I want to shoot a quick uh, selection video from our product selection software. So PSS is our Copeland selection software for compressors. And I wanted to show you, if you do size and select compressor, I want to show you something that I've just recently learned about glide refrigerant. So say, exa for example, you're looking for uh, 40,000 BTUs. That's your requirement. Uh, 407A, um, say, plus 20 medium temp, 105 condensing. And so if we're looking for that, I would. we're looking for a scroll. So ZB45, I know that does 407A. So I'm going to do uh, ZB45 KCTFE. So we're looking for 40,000. 407A, for example, medium temp. This is a 575 that's here in Canada. 20, we'll say 105 here. 105, 65 return gas. 10 degrees uh, superheat at the evaporator. Calculate. Well, we're looking at 47,000. So we're almost, you know, 20% higher than our compressor capacity. And right here, we're probably... Um, five seven percent higher here in our evaporator okay if i did it by the midpoint now because this is a glide refrigerant calculate now we're even higher so instead of 47 we're at 50,000. so we're looking at you know 25 26 percent oversize in the compressor and now we're 13 percent oversize on the evaporator and the issue with this is now you don't want to be too oversized because you could have short cycling issue. Most systems are oversized. But if they're designed correctly, you can a lot of times have um, smaller equipment. Let's just say we change the return gas temperature. Let's say instead of 65, we've got 45 coming back. Calculate. So we get a little bit closer, but we're still 24% oversized here. We're... 19% oversized again. So, we're oversized. Could this compressor work? Maybe. But you'd have to be aware of that. So, let's check the next smaller compressor. We're looking for 40,000 BTUs. We don't have 42. The next smaller one is a, a ZP38. So let's just say KCE we're looking for. ZP38 KCE TFE. 407A, 60 medium temp again, say 2105, we'll calculate in the dew point. Well, now our compressor capacity is 41,000, but our net refrigeration effect is 39. So this is on the dew point. But if you size it to the midpoint, bang. So now, as you can see here, we're, we're, match, we're meeting our 40,000 BTU requirement with 41.6. That's probably 4%. Or five percent over oversized, which is a great ratio. Uh, that is with a forty-five degree return gas. Now, if I turn this back to sixty-five, we're not reaching that forty thousand BTU. So, it's vitally important that the conditions that you design the the compressors or the system at that that exact same conditions are happening in the field to make sure you maintain your proper temperature. So this is a quick video on it. I would love to hear your comments. If you use product selection software, if you size compressors, especially compressors using Glide, I would be using the midpoint sizing these compressors, not the dew point. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.